this video I'm showing you how to combine three different STL files to get something very unique. First I downloaded the files from Thingiverse. I picked a car and two Beetlejuice themed STLs. After that I switched to Tinkercad and imported the car. With big STL files this can take quite some time. And after that I added the other two STL files too. I started with the Beetlejuice logo, which I wanted to make some kind of relief into the car. So I flipped it over and placed it on the car. Then I scaled the logo, positioned it on the car, turned it into a hole and sank it into the car just far enough that only the race parts like the letters were in the car and not the rectangular plate itself. Then I did the same thing on the other side of the car. Next thing to do was the snake, which I wanted on the roof of the car, like a advertising sign. So first I scaled it down and then I mounted a little piece to the snake, which will serve as a plug. I chose the curved form over the rectangular so we could print without supports when made into a hole. The last steps were making the hole a bit bigger than the plug so it fits in tightly and center everything and combine the parts. After combining the models in Tinkercad, I exported the new STLs, sliced them in Cura and sent them over to my 3D printer. For the classic Beetlejuice look, only the colors white and black are needed. As I use white PLA for printing, I only highlighted breathings of the model with a black pen. I shaded the ornaments with a dry brushing like technique, which was absolutely sufficient. The body of the car has breathings too, so I proceeded to paint them like the tiles before. The last thing to paint was the snake. I just painted the higher parts of the model in black and afterwards I used red for the mouth of the snake. As you see it's easy to combine different STLs in Tinkercad to create something totally new I'm happy how the car turned out, which was primarily created for the Snapmaker car contest, but I think it's a nice piece of Halloween Deco too. As you see, Tinkercad STL import is a great way to recombine or remix STL files. I hope you enjoyed the video and have fun making!